Hey everybody, so check this out right here. Did you catch the difference between the two photos? I wanna show you one more time, I'm gonna give you a hint. Take a look at the windshield of my truck. You catch it that time? Today I wanna to talk to you about this $12.49 filter I got for my camera. All right, so quick story. Out here in Enumclaw, we have the cruise. I've talked about it in previous videos. The day before the cruise, I realized I did not have a CPL filter for my Sigma 18 to 35. I had used a CPL filter before on my kit lens. I had moderate success with it. It would always leave a weird tint to my photos, but this is one of the CPL filters that came with the camera. You know, you pay an extra 10 bucks on Amazon and they send you a bunch of accessories. Some of them are useful. This one has been moderately useful, but like I said, it left a tint to my photos. I thought that was something that normally happened with CPL filters. Did a little bit of research online. Saw CPL filters from like 80, 90 bucks all the way down to 10 bucks. I did something I normally don't do and I bought an inexpensive one. Usually I would land somewhere in the middle. Did a bunch of reviews though. Read a bunch of reviews. Did some research. The Amazon CPL filter had wonderful ratings. Everyone said it worked great. So, ordered it, it was here the next day. Figured worst case scenario, I melt $12.49. Uh, screwed right onto the front of my lens. Um, went out and shot with it. It did everything it said it did. It cut through the reflections better than the one I got when I bought my camera that came with my camera. There was no vignetting. There was no weird tint to the photos. It did what it said it was supposed to do and it cut through the reflections. Um, some people say it makes the colors more vibrant and more punchy. I know the photos that I took, they were. I'll throw a link to those down below. You can check for yourself. So will you get better performance with the more expensive filter? Don't know, never used one. This is the most expensive one I've used and it was $12.49 and it did exactly what it said it was gonna do. Will I test some more expensive ones later on? I don't know, maybe, but I need to get some more views on these videos before we start having that discussion. That being said, this is a good time to like and subscribe. Just hit the pause button and go do that real quick. So, what else can I say about this filter? It's sturdy, it feels good, and sometimes it goes on sale with the VND filter for like another 10 bucks or something like that. I almost bought that kit, but it wouldn't have been here in time for the cruise with the ND filter. So I bought just a CPL filter and it showed up the next day. That's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, look at the photos down below. This thing helped out immensely. It took great photos, did everything it was said it was gonna do. No vignetting, no weird tint. Definitely worth the purchase for $12.49. What do you got to lose? Stay tuned. If you like these types of videos, I'm trying to do more of them. I'm trying to put them out more often. Short, sweet, and to the point. Please like, please subscribe. Find us on social media, facebook.com front slash the Bob and Liz show, instagram.com front slash the Bob and Liz show, and the Bob and Liz show.com. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.